I picked this guy up at my local thrift store for 50 cents. After a little research, I found out he was very rare. Started the auction at $199, sold for a whopping $2,027.22. What? <laughs> Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are gonna talk about plush, big money plush, items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. In this video, I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group share their big money bolos, but this is a category video and is only stuffed animals. Uh, what I always say is, if you're a reseller, you use the word plush. If you're a parent looking for something online, you probably use the word stuffed animal. So if you have enough room, I would use plush and stuffed animal in your title. That's just a suggestion. I don't know if there's anything to that, but that is my recommendation. All right, so let's get started here with some big money bolos. We're gonna start here with one from Poshmark. Yes, you can sell plush on Poshmark. You can also sell plush on Mercari. This is a Stife Fox curled up plush. Look how cute it is. And Stife is a great brand. I think this one is probably a newer one um, based on the tag here. Let me see. Yes, I think this is a newer one. She said, I bought it for $1.99 at the Goodwill, sold full price on Poshmark within two weeks for $45. Look at that little cutie. It is a little fox. Anything realistic um, usually does pretty well. I would put realistic in the title. It's a great keyword. And let's go on to the next one. This is the Kiss Band Spaceman Skull Plush. Anything that is Kiss Band, look it up. Kiss Band has a tendency, if it's vintage, to be a big money bolo. I know the belt buckles, different things, some of the dolls can be really big money. I actually have a video on Kiss Band items that sell for big bucks. She said, I purchased this at a church rummage sale for a dollar in October. Had it listed on Poshmark and Mercari with lots of likes, but no offers. Cross-posted to eBay and sold within a couple of days for an offer of 40 plus shipping. Buyer shared that it is being added to his major collection in Switzerland. And this one comes from Jiffy Thrifty LLC. So she said cross-posted. I cross-post my items also. I start on eBay and I go over to Mercari and Poshmark. I'm starting to hit Etsy again. Um, anybody selling on Etsy? How, how are things going over there? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I use List Perfectly. There is a demo video of how to use List Perfectly, both with the catalog and without. Check that out. If it looks like something you're interested in, you can use my referral code. It is Bolo Buddies, all one word. That's going to get you 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. So she sold this one on eBay. Uh, had it cross posted on Mercari and Poshmark. I also have referral links down below for Poshmark and Mercari where you will get money to shop if you use those referral links. On Mercari, you get $10 when you join with my referral link and another $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And Poshmark is $10 to shop. So that's free money, you guys. I always say sign up, join, buy something to resell. And I also get um, some money to shop also. So thank you for using my referral links. I really appreciate it. I know a lot of you guys use those and thank you if you've ever used one in the past. I got this Clem plush dog and a huge lot of vintage toys for $8 from our local auction house. Listed it for $165 and sold for $140 with a coupon I had running within a week. You guys, are you using coupons to entice your buyers, people who have bought from you in the past, people who are following your store? There is a way to create a coupon in eBay. You can create the coupon and through eBay, send those people your coupon. So it can be like buy something, get something free or get 25% off the store, whatever you want the coupon to be. But if you want to learn how to create a coupon and how to send it out to different areas or different people in your store, I do have a video on that. Just type in Bolo Buddies coupon and it should pull up on YouTube. And I also teach you how to um, put a coupon at the top of your store. 
So like, I think mine says buy one, get one 25% off. So when people add items to their cart, they automatically get that discount. So that is like highlighted as a store feature. So keep those things in mind. They are going to increase sales. So this guy is a vintage animal fair, 1974 Clem plush dog. And it looks to be in excellent condition. Sold it for $140. What'd she pay for it? Eight bucks, eight into 140. That's fantastic. All right, this next guy is mine. So I picked him up at the Goodwill Benz and he was sitting in the front of my cart and I'm like, should I buy this thing? I don't know if I should buy this thing, but I'm like, he is just so interesting. Wait until you see his face up close. It's all I think hand painted. It is beautiful, but I got it for five bucks because it was an oversized big item. Somebody offered me 62 and I went ahead and took it. They left me awesome feedback and they were surprised at how big it was. <laughs> they asked me, they're like, why is the shipping so much? I'm like, it's big. It's a big guy. Um, so anyway, it was a nice little bolo. It did take a little while to sell, but very, very cool. Just had to find the right owner. All right. This guy she said, I purchased this from our local Goodwill for 99 cents, listed it for 89.89 and took a best offer of 60. Buyer received and left positive feedback. B eBay store is Oki Picker. And this is what this little cutie looks like. It's a Sanrio cinema, wait, cinnamon, cinema roll, cinema roll. <laughs> Nothing like trying to like, Hang me up here. Not cinnamon roll, cinema roll. All right. Anyway, there it is. 15th anniversary. How cute is that? Anything Sanrio. Look it up. All right. Gotta love this. Found this in a back bedroom at an estate sale. Paid $10. <laughs> it's a vintage Motorola Dynatac 8000 series brick cell phone, you guys. It's a brick cell phone, and I'm going to say it sold for the asking price of $499.99. Looks like it was auction style, got one bid. It has the original paperwork. What a cool bolo. So 10 into almost 500. That's a huge bolo. This guy, extremely rare, 1980s manufacturer error, black eyes and nose, Mr. Bingle Jingle. So I wonder what the air is. I picked this guy up at my local thrift store for 50 cents. After a little research, I found out he was very rare version of Mr. Bingles, a manufacturer air that was ordered, destroyed, started the auction at $199, sold for a whopping $2,027.22. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. What was the manufacturer's error? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Um, Dillard's mascot. Black eyes and nose according. Let's see. Manufacturer error with black eyes and nose according to Wikipedia. They were ordered destroyed, but some were sold before and are now very rare and collectible. So is the nose usually a different color? Okay. So this is what Wikipedia says. Mr. Bingle related merchandise, especially plush toys, were sold by Mason Blanc and manufactured in the United States by Character, no character Novelty Company starting in 1949. The character has undergone, undergone many design changes, with the earlier dolls having chrome eyes and red mittens and later dolls switching to the traditional blue eyes with red and white mittens. Some dolls even have a black nose and eyes, although these were manufactured defects and were ordered to be destroyed with the remaining dolls becoming rare. Other manufactured defects among the dolls include hats that veer too far to either direction and oddly placed facial features. With the rise of social media platforms such as Facebook communities have been found, I'm sorry, have been formed dedicated to buying and reselling of the dolls and many listings have appeared on sites such as eBay. You guys, that is Wikipedia. Wow, I am like, I don't know you, but I'm so proud of you for figuring that out. That is amazing. That is amazing. Wow. $2,027. All right, you guys. So there's some other things that you need to look for based on Wikipedia for these, like the hat being crooked and all of that. Wow. 
That's fantastic. Somebody else wrote, I felt good selling mine for 50 or less. Bravo. <laughs> she said, I only had two bingles this year. Just sold the second for 36 and the first for 33. I grabbed them whenever I find them. Yeah. So most of them are going to be bread and butter. This was an exception and it was an exceptional and it, it was an exceptional exception. I just want to say, all right, here we go. Neopets Yellow Poodle Plush Limited Edition, one of a thousand, rare with tag. All right, limited edition right there on the tag. Let's see, one of a thousand. Found in a bag of other Neopets at Goodwill for 15, listed for $149.99 and accepted an offer within 24 hours, um, it looks like, of $100. I sold another out of the bag for $34.99. Yeah, the Neopets are definitely a good pickup. They do range. Even the little McDonald's Neopets will sell. Okay, this one's just wild, okay? She said, I got this at a thrift store for a dollar. It sold for the full sale price of $36.79 in about two weeks. This one comes from Vintage Spice. She is Vintage Spice on eBay and on YouTube. She has a fantastic YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. She sells some cool stuff. Uh, this guy is, is he naked? <laughs> <laughs> Buddha plush by Gund, stuffed animal, purple pastel, lotus position, huggy lilac. She's got great keywords there. $36.79 for that one. That's hilarious. He's he he has no clothes. All right. Good thing he's in that cover everything up position, right? Vintage 1978, 70s I'm sorry, Mattel Napper. Hug and talk plush. Hug me talking dog. Look how cute it is. Hug me. Anybody ever seen that one? I certainly have not. And I definitely would not have looked at that and thought that's $140. Pick this guy up at a teen challenge thrift store for 75 cents, not knowing anything about him. Sold for asking price of 140 plus shipping to a celebrity. And um, celebrities probably are not selling on eBay. They might be. I mean, they might. You never know. They might have a side gig. I mean, some of those celebrities out there, the big ones, they may they they may sell their stuff on eBay. I doubt it. Somebody put celebrities. They're just like us. They shop on eBay. <laughs> that is awesome. How much you want to bet that the celebrity had this as a kid and they wanted their memory back? That is cool. Oh, look, some information about it. When he's squeezed, he has six different phrases. My name is Napper. I get so lonely. You're so good to me. Rough, rough, rub my tummy. I'm sleepy. Rough, rough, rough. <laughs> Whoa, Napper does not require batteries. Oh, instead he has a record player inside of him. Ah, I was like, oh, that's kind of creepy. Okay, so we just learned something new about that. 2016, Five Nights at Freddy's. Funko Bonnie Five Nights at Freddy's plush stuffed animal. This one sold on Mercari. Mercari is awesome for plush. Uh, I bought this 2016 Five Nights at Freddy's for a dollar at the Goodwill bins. It's small, about eight inches. I was happy to see it was a bolo. Sold it for 56 in a week on Mercari. Nylon Santa Claus. Paid $2 for this nylon Santa at a local thrift store. Sold for full asking price of $45 on Poshmark. So great word, parachute right there. Parachute, nylon, Santa Claus, stuffed toy, plush, Christmas, all great keywords. And he sold for $45 on Poshmark. All right. The next one sold on Depop. Sold on Depop, you guys. That is one I've never sold on. If you guys sell on Depop, let everybody know how you're doing over there. Vintage Rancor Monster Star Wars with box toy. Asking $220. Sold for $180. Locally, Facebook Marketplace. No commission paid to a selling site. Rancor's original... I'm sorry. Rancor's Origins actually has a funny story. Initially, found him at the Goodwill bins, maybe three or four dollars was helping my friend close her business when I started chatting with someone who came in to buy stuff. They were also a reseller, flea market style. We are talking shop about the excitement of flipping stuff for a profit and my rancor comes to mind. He stops me and says, I think I have a box for that toy. So we sat, we start to talk trade because I know I can get more with the box. 
We came to an agreement, Rancor Box, for a small box of 80s, 90s vintage nude Barbies that I probably would never get around to listing anyways, and most of which came from a free curb alert. So now I have a reunited monster with box. I relist Rancor with box and almost double my price. Nice. Australian dude contacts me on Facebook Marketplace for a local pickup. I give $40 discount because I don't have to pay out a commission, nor do I have to hassle with shipping. And nice Australian dude is super psyched to have a toy back from his childhood. I am super psyched to have money for a holiday shopping. Everyone is happy. Okay, so it looks like she's just showing us the pictures from Depop, but sold it on Facebook Marketplace. So she probably had it cross-posted. It says Depop, right? I'm so confused. Maybe she's just showing what it looks like. I don't know, but there it is. I think she's showing her pictures. But this is not a plush, but hey, um, it's definitely a bolo that we all want to know about. I wonder what it would have sold for without the box. Fun little story, right? Okay, here we go. Um, I actually have a post up right now that says, share a bolo with a cool story. That would have been perfect for that. Um, so if you guys want to go over to the Facebook group, the Bolo Buddies Facebook group, it's linked under my link tree. Under the featured section, the announcements right at the top, you guys can look for that post and go share a bolo with a cool story. Also, best January bolo will be coming soon that you can share and best plush bolo is still up. So go share a bolo and I'll feature it in a video just like this. Make sure you include, um, if you want a shout out, include that information for your YouTube and um, eBay or whichever platform you're selling on. You can have me actually shout it out. Bought 38 plush for a dollar. 38 plush for a dollar? What? Each. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. A dollar each. I thought they were all a dollar. I'm like, wow, 38 plush for a buck. I want to shop where you shop. Okay. They were a dollar each. Several were this cartoon. Sold for full price plus shipping. This one comes from eBay store, thrift, a thrifted spirit. She said, funny part, someone sent me a low offer on one I had, two slightly different. Someone else swept in and bought it. The low offer sender jumped on the second one, all in less than 10 minutes. So both sold of the spider for 45 each. Yeah, that's awesome. So somebody was lowballing her and then the item sold and she's like, oh, I better go grab the other one before it sells. It's a little spider. Edgar Bendy and the Ink Machine plush butcher dark revival gang stuffed figure. Never heard of that. I will. I mean, I would probably look it up just because it's so weird. All right, here's the next one. This one is a Build-A-Bear and it sold on Poshmark. It is a penguin and it is a rare St. Louis exclusive retired realistic. So I want to know how you know it, if it is St. Louis because all the ones I have found actually say St. Louis on the back. St. Louis right here. So I don't know how you know it's St. Louis. Let's see. Hard to find retired penguin that was only released at the St. Louis Zoo. The penguin has a unique spotted fur pattern as well. All right. So here's the deal. St. Louis, somebody told me in a video comment that the St. Louis Zoo closed down. So the Build-A-Bear, I, I don't know. They had special ones that were exclusive to that zoo, I think. And those go for big money. If you type in Bolo Buddies, Build-A-Bear, I have several videos that I've done on some of the big money Build-A-Bear. Most are bread and butter, but there are some that go for crazy money. So they wrote, this was a long haul item, but definitely worth it. I picked this Build-A-Bear penguin up at the Savers for $3.50. I did a quick Google lens search before buying it, and it popped up as a St. Louis Zoo edition. Sold comps were $150 to $250. I listed on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. It was listed for almost a year before it sold, but it was worth the wait. It sold on Poshmark for $199, and my total profit was $153.22. All right, so because they brought up cross-posting, I am going to shout out list perfectly because that is what I use to cross-post. Um, I am on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and starting back on Etsy. 
And I use List Perfectly for that. If you want to see a demo video of how it works and see if cross posting is a good fit for you, there is a video link down in the description. If you watch it and you decide that you want to use List Perfectly, you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. So check that out. More eyes, different eyes on your items if you list on multiple platforms. That is for certain. All right, here we go. You ready for this one? Four of these have been sitting in my money pile of about 1K other beanie babies I've been going through since June. <laughs> I usually sell a couple beanie babies a week, sometimes in lots of five or six as a bundle for about 25. I got these in late October and saw that they go for good penny. They're in different colors. All right. So this one comes from Doughboy's Treasures. And most Beanie Babies, you know, the small ones, the original Beanie Babies, you guys, they're bread and butter. I mean, some of them go for a little more, but those crazy thousands and thousands of dollars ones, most of those are not legit sales. What I will say is some of these that are not your traditional ones that are uh, the Baby, the Tylux, the different ones, the, the yeah, this one's a Tylux. Put Tylux in your title if you find Tylux. People look for these. and. It looks like he sold this one for a best offer of $40. But Tylux is definitely one of the ones that's collectible. And here's another one that he sold. This one sold for $43.99. And let's see. That one is pink. So they're both pretty much the same bear, only one's pink and one's yellow. Rare build a bear world exclusive 2012 brown bunny rabbit chocolate scented okay i feel like i've seen this one before <laughs> did i have this did i have this one and did i not know bought two of these at separate times at a local thrift store for less than three dollars both sold in one night for full price of 110 each hmm now this is in australia so maybe Maybe the Build-A-Bear are harder to find in Australia and go for more. I don't know. If you're watching, let me know if um, Build-A-Bear are harder to find and if all Build-A-Bear go for more in Australia or just certain ones. Here's another one from Australia. She said, found this one at the thrift store for $2, almost left it behind because it was dirty. I didn't think it had much value, but it was unique. So I thought it might sell okay. Cleaned it up and researched it. Turns out it was a TV character from an old TV show that had very little merchandise made. Sold for, sold for full price of $64.95. And it looks like Number Jack's UK blue number five plush soft toy TV show character. So probably not one that we will find in the U.S., but if you are from Australia, definitely be on the lookout. Twig Seeds, Ruby Red Shoes, Rare Bunny Rabbit, Plush Soft Doll. Uh, this is another Australian bolo. And again, I don't know if these are bolos in the U.S. or not. You guys definitely do your homework and check that out. Found this for $2 at a thrift store. It's a plush of an obscure character. Easy $60 plus each time. All right, that is awesome. So we did find some nice little um, different bolos that we didn't know about, right? I mean, oh my goodness, look at all these bolos. They're fantastic. Look at that guy. And this is not plush. <laughs> it's the wrong post, but that's okay. Oh boy, let's let's just go on past him. This is my favorite, extremely rare, two thousand twenty-seven dollars and twenty-two cents. I think this is the winner, winner chicken dinner of this video. What do you guys think? A plush for two thousand dollars? Wowza! All right, thank you guys that shared. Thank you to all that shared. Thank you to everybody that watched. I appreciate you all. I hope you'll come over to the Facebook group and share your big money bolo. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out those links down below in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.